You all listen. Listen to me. It's time. Minecraft is coming to Chromebook. All right, hello everybody. This is a momentous day. I just got through the purchase process because um, I didn't want to have to show my uh, my card information <laughs> on my recording. But Minecraft is finally coming to Chromebook. That recently went away, probably 2018, 2019, and in, it was in favor of uh, Education Edition, which nobody wants. <laughs> this, finally, after today, uh, is being released on Chromebook. I'm currently downloading, as you can see, the beta version of it. I'm going to show you the setup for Bedrock and see if Realms are included and see you know what, what all uh, is going to be included with that. It's going to be awesome. I'm very excited. So it's actually a pretty big uh, Android app. As you can see, it's 590 megabytes. That's half a gig. That's actually, that's pretty big for, for an Android app. Definitely bigger than the regular Bedrock version, like for a phone. Um, as far as I know, anyway, I didn't think it was that big. Um, the other, the, the most recent large app like this that you had to download for a game was Fortnite. And that was, that was like four gigs or something crazy like that. But that was years ago. Um, so I'm excited. This is a good sign. Uh, it's not, it's not going to be bad, you know, that it's, uh, that it's a large app. That means they're putting more into it, which is, uh, good. I'm very, very happy that they're, you know, giving, uh, giving this the time and attention that it needs. In the meantime, while that's downloading, this is the article from The Verge. Uh, Microsoft is bringing Minecraft to Chromebooks in early access. You see Mojang, the Microsoft-owned developer of Minecraft, sold by uh, Notch RIP, since he's you know gone from the company. Originally launched Minecraft Education Edition on Chromebooks 2020, not 2018. I'm um, a special edition. Acquired a school license, and that's why that's what made it really annoying. So it's in the first stage. This is going to be early access. It's going to be a beta. This is not going to be, you know, some huge high-end perfect kind of thing, but I did get a discount on it. Um, I I bought Minecraft way too many times. I bought it for PC, I bought it for PlayStation, uh, and I bought it for Android. Um, I've spent way too much on it, but I just spent, it was normally $20, um, and I, I paid $13 for it. I'm not sure if it's because I already purchased the mobile version or if it's because it's in beta. Uh, the same thing happened with LumaFusion down here. Um, normally this costs thirty dollars, and since I bought it during the beta, uh, the beta testing, uh, it was twenty. All right, let's play. Let's see what this looks like. I'm very interested to see uh, how well this runs and what kind of. Uh, I mean, Bedrock usually runs pretty much the same on every device. You get this loading screen, you get the red Mojang logo, uh, you get all that. Uh, unpopular opinion, the white Mojang logo was way better. Um, but I'm really interested to see if it, in this very preliminary beta version, as you can see, I'm getting a lot of glitches. I'm getting a lot of like not responding. I'm getting a lot of time, um, that kind of thing. Time to, you know, loading times, I mean. So we'll see what this, uh, how well this works. Um, and, oh, okay, okay. So we can sign into a Microsoft account. That's That's a good positive start. This also is the M3 version of the Pixelbook Go, so I'm not sure what kind of requirements the system needs, um, but I may not have them. <laughs> this might not be the greatest Chromebook to try this on. Um, I just haven't, you know, taken the time to upgrade it yet. All right, so let me sign in, same as normal. You just got a white screen. Again, I'm not sure if this is because of my internet or because uh, the computer has an M3 processor, but I've got a, black, a blank screen here. I'm guessing I'll get a not responding message in just a second, but I do hear the Minecraft music. Um, so that's good. Um, let's, let me pause this. Yeah, there we go. Not responding. Let me, let me restart the app and we'll see what it looks like from there. All right. Looking good. Um, I got my computer restarted here. Um, I think it's running much smoother than it was before. It may still be my processor, but I think I just, uh, yeah, it's probably the processor. Um, or it's beta. I don't know, uh, but let's see if we can sign into my account, which I mean, it should be already signed in at this point, um, but let's see if we can get signed into Realms. Realms is one of the more important uh, aspects of Minecraft, I think, because even if I can't, uh, you know, play it on the device, like if I can't, like, I mean, I don't need like a hundred new worlds on my Chromebook, you know what I mean? But I do want to be able to access my Realms that I started on like a PS5 or a PC, um, you know, wherever I usually play this. Um, that would be really nice. So I'm hoping that that's going to be a thing, at least at this level. It will at some point. I, I know that. All right. Yeah. So looking good so far. 
Um, I got the same update message yesterday on my PC, actually. A lot of screen flickering. Again, that's either the beta or my processor is too small. Got my skin. Nice. Looks good. And then unable to connect to realms. Okay, so uh, we'll try that again in just a second. Um, I want to try on mobile data. But either it's, yeah, this is definitely a beta. <laughs> like, look at all this. That's, that's pretty bad. Let's switch it over to mobile data and see what happens. So yeah, it must be because of the beta. Um, so realms is definitely coming at some point because they have this reference here. But this is really cool to see. I'm really, really happy that this is happening. Um, you got, even got the marketplace and the device settings and everything. And then obviously, RIP Stadia, but I can now use my Stadia controller on this as well, or any Bluetooth controller, PS4, PS5, Xbox, whatever you like. Um, but I'm very excited for this. Let me know what you think about this. Are you going to use Minecraft on Chromebook? Or do you think, even if you are not going to use it, like, what, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know. So this is just a few minutes later, and it's actually working perfectly. Um, I gave it a chance to kind of zoom in, or not zoom in, but I gave it a chance to kind of like breathe for a second. I don't think that's how software works, but um, I have my realms here um, and it is not giving me those weird glitches and stuff on the screen. Um, I'm also not screen recording this time. I think actually it might have been that the screen recording software or the option on Chrome OS was just taking too much you know, power, but it's working amazing right now. I've got my, um, my realms, my brother's realm. I've got my realms. I can load right in. Now, I'm really curious again because, again, this is my work Wi-Fi, <laughs> um, but we'll see if it rel if it uh, loads in. Because if it does, this is amazing. This is an M3 MacBook, or I'm sorry, they're doing the M1 thing now. I got confused. This is an M3 Pixelbook Go. Um, it was $650 full price. I bought it for, I think, like $280 or $300, $350, something like that, like three years ago. But, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so smooth. I love that. Oh, okay, I'm going to have to play with all the settings here and check it out. But this is looking really, really good so far. And I just saw it on the front page of the Play Store. So props to you guys. I'm really, really excited to where this is going to go.